up guys welcome back with another video on my channel with your girl Tr so as you can tell by the title of the video we're doing trends that need to be left in 2021 so as you guys know we're coming up in a new year and i think in a week in a week today is the 20 i'm not even sure after christmas i didn't keep up with the days <laughs> but 27th oh wow today's the 27th so it's getting closer to new year's eve which you know i mean new year's day january 1st so we know but we're just gonna leave trends that doesn't need to belong in 2022 they need to stay here in 2021 and not enter 2022 so yeah we're just gonna talk about trends don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn on the notification get notified every time i post a video and yeah let's just hop right into the video and not talk as much you know well we're gonna be talking this whole video but not in the intro let's go so the first one i think i'm reading from my ipad y'all don't know so just reading from it so the first thing i think we should leave in 2021 is bashing celebrities now this is one that i've been kind of iffy on because some celebrities kind of deserve not deserve to be bashed but someone do something wrong on purpose so they could get the attention or they hate they think they deserve i don't know like some people have mental but i think bashing celebrities are we talking about as lizzo as sweetie like people call lizzo she's too fat she shouldn't do like why why does that matter to you like especially if you put it out there for everyone to see like i don't care if you're just saying it and no one can hear you like no one knows but if you're saying it and where she can get it like that's just i feel like it's just unacceptable and shouldn't be brought into 2022 because bashing celebrities like you don't like literally you think about this guys think about this we all could be celebrities they're just one of us they're just like us just what popularity and money like they're just like us they have feelings they have a heart unless they didn't sell they soul but that's a different topic but they're just like us and people just bash them literally because of their looks and i guess like you know some people put stuff on social media once again to get bashed so like they'll put some tweets or this and that just to get bashed and get hate instead of just keeping it to themselves but people who do nothing but post pics of their body or something of them get hate like sweetie i think she gets hate a lot and so does Lizzo. What other um I'm not even gonna talk about the Kardashian because not saying they deserve hate, but they do a lot of every things are like you need someone to tell you that you're doing something wrong. Clearly your producers aren't telling you. But yeah, that's that's just going to the next because I go on all day about that and I'm not trying to. Okay. Number two is we're gonna get into fake bodies or surgeries. So I have been recently heard that you know sp sponsorships you get and people who want to work with you usually want to work with girls who are pretty and have a bbl because they bring something to their company because literally what everyone has so it's on trend so they're obviously going to pick something that's on trend so everyone can buy it this marketing but now everyone's getting it because it's more of a trend and people aren't getting it because people aren't getting it to like enhance themselves they're getting like they some people don't even need it but they're like I don't know how to explain it. Like, people don't love themselves first before getting a BBO. They think of it as, oh, I'm going to get this sponsorship. I'm going to get this. If you guys don't know, Crystal, which is Polo G's ex, she actually says she got one because people work with her more now since she got it, which is kind of like, I think it's wrong all the way. People shouldn't just want to work with you just because you, but like, I understand it's marketing. You got to do whatever you got to do to get that money. I understand. So if, if it's not harming anyone, but. I feel like that's really, really sad if that happens in 2021. I think that should be left in 2022. People people get BBLs but don't get it because it's a trend. Get it because you want it. Like you feel like you want this and you feel like it will enhance you and you are very insecure about something and you and it hasn't left your insecurity. Like this insecurity you can't get over it. I can understand that you already love yourself. Then yeah i get that but if you're doing it for a trend that's out i don't like people who do that and i think it's something that should be left in 2021 okay number three we're gonna go with testing people's diamonds like okay not these with necklace i'm wearing aren't real they're from shein so they're definitely not real but people diamond testers who go up to 
the, like people will say that diamonds are real which is already putting them in a disadvantage and they say it's not real they get embarrassed so either way they're getting embarrassed and i think people should stop diamond testers you're literally just out there embarrassing people like i know that feels something like if i got my diamonds tested and this were fake and then everyone started bashing me and this and that like oh my god well even though people who do it they don't know those people the public they do like public interviews that person is not, but they'll be in the comments be like, oh, his diamonds are fake. Like, everyone's wearing fake diamonds. Like, except for, like, rappers, I don't know. But a lot of people wear fake diamonds and this and that, and they always come to bash them. So that needs to be left in 2021. I do not want to see anyone doing diamond testers. It's just embarrassing, and it's not even, like... I don't watch the videos no more. I used to in the beginning. I think I only used to watch Deshae Frost or, like, Ungata Matthew, but I never watch everyone's videos. Like, I don't think I even watched, like, King Sid's when he did it, but I do not like it. That should be left in 2021. It's just embarrassing. Really embarrassing. Okay, number four. This one is important. I'm going to time step this below because this one is very important. Giving back on social media. Okay. This one is irritating. Every time someone gives back to the community, they have to post it on social media. Like, I understand. People are going to say, oh, you never give back, you give back, you never give back, you never give back because you don't post it, this and that. How can you ignore haters when they say you're ugly or you're fat and this and that, but you can't ignore them when they say you don't post giving back? Like, why do you have to post it? Like, I feel like you're just gaining more clout because other people are going to repost and be like, oh, he's so nice. Like, not everyone does it in a hatred way. Like, if you saw a video of Deshae Frost, he gave his teacher $10,000. Like, I feel like that was okay because it's only to one person. But if you're giving back to a community of people, like people who are, I don't know, like homeless or people who need help, people who teen mom, teen moms, like, those people you're helping out don't need to be put on social media if you help them out. You don't need to tweet, I gave $1,000 to school today, like, something. Like, DDG, he gave pizza to the homeless. Like, what was the point of recording that? And then Aiden Ross was like, um, I'm not even get all the way into it, but just thought. Stop posting on social media and do what you got to do behind closed doors. I, so many times I gave money to, like, homeless and it's not, but I never post. Like, it's no point. Okay, number five, what we're going to leave is dirty Air Forces. If I see these dirty Air Forces again on some person, I'm going to have to, I'm going to just have to do this. I'm going to have to take them off their feet and go buy them some more, like, at that moment. Because these dirty Air Forces are not it. I understand, like, sometimes the dirty Air Forces will look better with an outfit, but clean ones will top tier your outfit. They need to be left because they're not doing any justice to your closet. They're just... When if I had dirty Air Forces in my closet right now, my whole shoe collection would look like all my shoes are dirty. That's because that's how much it stands out of the dirty Air Forces. It's not okay. It's not okay. I'm sorry the lighting isn't the best because the sun's going down a little bit, but it's a little cloudy. You know, California weather. Who knows? The next thing I want to leave in 2021 is kind of like a f fashion trend, but these puffer jackets that look like garbage bags are literally not it like i never worn them before but i can hear squeakiness or moving every time you move your arms up and down like why do i need to hear that like to get a regular puffer jacket it doesn't look like a garbage bag there were so many puffer jackets that don't look like garbage bags are comfy and are cute i don't think that's comfortable it has to be uncomfortable when you put that on it has to be garbage i'm calling garbage bag puffer jackets they need to go. They're not comfortable, but they do come in really cute colors. But come on. Do we really need to be wearing that in 2021? No. I don't, do people still wear it this year? I think I've seen some people. I've seen some people like probably Bad Nana. She could probably make it work, but it just doesn't. It doesn't do. I don't like it. Cut it out. This one is probably going to affect some people. I don't know. But when a song says the N word in it, and there's a white person doing a TikTok to it, they should not do the TikTok at all. I don't care if they're covering their mouth. You know how many takes they have to do? They could have said, like, I just don't trust. I don't trust one bit. They could have did two different takes, said it, saved it in the drafts and don't show nobody and post the one where they covered their mouth. They should not be able, it should be like a sound, like 
a facial recognition and be like, oh, you're white, you can't eat the sound. Like, I don't know, but something needs to happen where they don't get to use those sounds because I swear those are the people who get away with way too much. They already get away with way too much and we're gonna let them get away with that? Like, no, that's out of the box, rude and disrespectful. I don't even think it's right for us to say it to each other, but it's just something we do. It's common, like, I don't know if it's like tradition, but it's like our culture, like, Everyone says, I don't say it, but a lot of people say it. But, you know, I just think that should be left in 2021 because I don't think anybody should be saying it. I don't care if you're just white. If you're not black, you should not be saying that word. I don't think, once again, I don't think black people don't think black people should say it either. But we shouldn't be one saying it over anyone else. Because I'm just saying, like, if you know, you know. I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay, I need people to leave this in 2021. Stop saying LeBron is better than any basketball player ever. Like DDG, he tweeted LeBron, I mean, Stephen Curry is better than LeBron. Like, I just don't like the comparing of basketball players. Why do that? Stop saying LeBron, like, LeBron is the best, Stephen Curry is the best, Michael Jordan is the best. Like, they're all really good in a skill. Like, Michael Jordan can't hit threes as Stephen Curry can. Um, Michael Jordan doesn't have the defense LeBron has. Like, they all each have a unique skill. And saying that one's better than the other is not right. Like, I don't know how many MVT... I don't know how many MVPs Curry won, but I know LeBron won, like, four, and Michael won, like, five. So they're literally close to each other, but not one is better. Like, just, like, if they say who plays 1v1, if you play 1v1 against each other, it doesn't mean that person's better. Like, 1v1 does not make that person better in a game. It really doesn't. It's all about skills and not even just about skills. No one is better than anyone. I feel like they all have a unique skill that could be, you know, like, I don't know, that could be used towards their opponent. Like, stop saying one basketball player is better than the other. Just let them be. Okay, this is one that kind of irritates me is when men feel like they have to buy their girl a Birkin and girls to feel like they have to buy their boyfriend a PS5. Like, I feel like that happens in every relationship and they feel like if they don't do it, their person is going to love them or they think, oh, it's not on trend. So, like, it's not like they have to be on trend to do it. Like, I understand some people don't do it out of kindness or they hard. They're doing it because it's a trend. Like, I only bought you this Birkin bag because everyone else said they wanted it. I want you to be like every other girl. No, buy your girl a Chanel bag. Why does it have to be a Birkin? Like, I'm just saying if the girl truly, truly, truly likes a Birkin bag, then yes. But if she's just doing it because it's a trend and he just wants a PS5 because it's a trend, like... No, like, I understand if you're a real gamer, then you honestly probably do want a PS5. But some people just do it as a trend. Like, it's a level to this. And I don't understand why it's a level to it. I feel like this lighting here is really bad. Hold on, guys. Number 10. The next thing we should leave in 2021 is the word period. I don't know if we... I think we did. I don't think anyone says period anymore. But I know people say per that's that's okay that's kind of cute per and 20 them those are kind of cute words but period needs to be left and i'm just gonna leave it right there because city girls did it in 2019 but 2020 and 2021 i'm glad they left because it's it's not needed it's really not i want to express this to the best of my ability yeezys like i have some yeezy slides i love them they're my favorite they're the most comfortable shoes slides ever but when Kanye just comes out with different shoes you guys should not be automatically wanting to buy them because they're Kanye like these shoes he coming out with I'll post one here you probably already see it's probably already up here but these shoes are not it y'all y'all telling me those shoes are it and people are wearing them people are wearing clothes with holes in them if I came out with clothes and holes in them are you gonna buy them realistically no if i made the 100 percent cotton on the same material as he and i put holes in them and sold them for 500 dollars, would you buy them no but since it's kanye west you're gonna buy them <laughs> yeah like that makes no sense i would never buy a 500 shirt with holes in it you would never see me wearing those and i want to keep this clip here so in the future 
you would know i still would never bought that and the shoes some of the shoes are just ugly like and people are buying them but i understand some of them i don't know if i understand but okay one thing i think we need to leave in there is dragon tattoos i'm sorry but the dragon tattoos are not it anymore if you have the dragon tattoo on your thigh i hopefully you get it removed because <laughs> There, especially if it's in red if it's in red that's definitely you know you need to get it removed every girl has it i bet you just got it from pinterest or instagram but every girl has it if you truly like it keep it but i'm saying this when you grow old your skin will get wrinkly and that dragon will look like a sloth it will not look right on you i'm just saying like, this next one is kids acting grown if you guys don't know kodak black's child actually got in some previous previous altercations about his child i think being too grown like he was like he was acting like he was 15 and he looked eight or nine or he not like 2018 he looked older like he was acting like he was older and that was not cute celebrities do not know how to some celebrities don't know how to raise their children and it's because they're under the spotlight and they don't have time for them which is why i don't know why some celebrities have kids like i understand everyone wants to have kids and just because you're a celebrity doesn't mean you can't you should enjoy that life but sometimes that life isn't for everyone like if you're not going to treat your kid well why have them which is going to my next that people should not be um against abortion like you know, at least don't be don't bash someone who decides to have an abortion i think that's what we should leave to people who bash them and say oh my gosh you should not have that you're killing the baby if you like it makes no sense think about it this way if they have the kid they're gonna hate that kid because they didn't because they didn't have the abortion so that kid's gonna be left emotionally unstable especially if she wasn't okay during her pregnancy so not having the baby in the world is better than having the baby in the world that baby could go up and be who knows like a mur like who i don't want to say the word but because youtube sometimes be playing i don't want to get no strikes but and also number i don't know what number this is but the next thing we need to normalize therapy people always bashing it and saying oh my gosh you're a sick person if you go there you're like almost like diamond flawless she doesn't want to go into this medic therapy center because she believes i guess i don't know how it is there people probably do treat her bad some facilities are not always made to help people but some people should normalize getting therapy especially if they've been through a lot because people who don't they grow up and don't have a happy life so i think people should normalize getting their children or even yourself therapy like some people think it's only for the sick and if you have it something's wrong with you like something probably was but i got help like, some people just don't normalize it, and I feel like that should be left in 2021. I hear a lot of people bashing it recently, and it's just like, what? Like, why are you bashing it? But, yeah, we're just, you know. Okay, this is like a fashion thingy, but patchwork jeans. If you wear these patchwork jeans, I'm sorry. The only person I've seen that actually probably made it work was Jody Woods. And I'll pop a picture. I actually liked her whole outfit that she wore it, but patchwork jeans are not it. They're, what are you wearing different color with strings hanging out for? That's not it. And whoever told you there was needs to rethink their life decision. They probably don't even dress well themselves. Like, <laughs> those jeans are not it. Leave that. In t was that already left in 2021? Probably. Who knows? But we're going to leave it again. Don't bring it to 2022. Don't try something different and bring it to 2022. I need to be out. Okay, this is the next one. Smash your pads face to face. Do I have to say much? Y'all know, right? King said. Okay, this face-to-face -face stuff needs to stop because you're just normalizing people who it, it just needs to stop i don't feel like it's healthy for anyone's mental health or physical health to do this it should be left because i don't know it's not even a because it's just it should be left and there should be no reason you already know so i'm just gonna leave it there 
Okay, and I'm going to use this as the last one, which is worshipping celebrities. If you do that, something is mentally wrong with you. And I'm talking about people. Let me, I'm going to name one and watch your mind go like this. Because you're going to change up everything that's happened. The celebrity is Nicki Minaj. People worship her to the end of the ground. She can't do nothing wrong in anybody's eyes. And she's done a lot wrong in my opinion, which I'm not going to say, but people already know. She's done a lot wrong. I, I agree. Her music is good. She has the best, mu best rap girl music out there. I'll give her that. But to worship her and say everything she does is right and she doesn't do anything wrong is out of line. Y'all do not need to be worshiping. Worshiping. Wow, I cannot talk. Worshiping these celebrities. They're not it. I hope if I ever become a celebrity, nobody worship me. I hope not. Because I make mistakes and I don't want that becoming like as a trend. Like she, it's okay that she might be like, no, I need to learn from it and go. And go. Like, I don't know what to say, but we're just going to end it there. Please stop worshiping whatever the celebrities I haven't said a word. But yeah, we're just going to end it there. Thank you for watching my video. I am, if you want another video like this, leave it down below in the comments. Now I do one at the end of December in 2022. Things we should leave in 2022. But I gotta see what the trends are in 2022. I'm just gonna write them down each time I see one. But I hope to see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn notifications and notify every time I post a video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.